Hey, you booty monster. So Grandpa hollering at you. He was asking some questions about this Wolf uh, .64 radiator. Well, I'll tell you, I have a problem with the instructions on that antenna. And I can't honestly tell you where the bottom of that antenna is, frankly. I'm just not real sure. Uh, you're getting a picture of the bottom section of it right now. And let me uh, see if I can't get it to come on around to the bottom. Right underneath the tape here, before the tape falls off, though, let me discuss with you the length of the gamma match. If the gamma match is, uh, let me uh, get a little bit farther up. Okay. Maybe you can see that. That's uh, showing 49 inches right there. Uh, the plate, ah, that's what I figured. Uh, the, pl the plate where the gamma match is, you can see this is the plate right there. And there's the match right there. It's where the uh, gamma ends. See if I can't get it to sit back up there without having to hang on to it. Well, these tapes never do cooperate. And I ain't got the two hands. And I shake on the boot. To boot. That's the boot. Okay. If that end of it is down on the other end is right, this measurement right there is... You might not be able to see it, and I'm going to tell you what it is, but you can get the idea. This is 49 inches right here. Okay, 49 inches. Right there. Right there is 49 inches. I'm measuring it right now, and I'm showing it 45 and 5 eighths. I mean 48 and 5 eighths. From the end of the gamma match to the, uh, to the plate. Now, where the dog, the dog bone, which is the strap that goes from the radiator to the to hooks onto the gamma latch, is 45 inches. That's actually an eighth of an inch short of 45 inches, if you can see that. 45 inches is right there. That That's the uh, gamma match dimensions. I think you asked a question, too. How far is it from the... Uh, how far is it from the uh, radiator? And I'll see if I can measure that for you. It's kind of cumbersome here, but looks like it's uh, three and three quarters inches center to center. Three, three and three quarters center to center. Okay. I'm sure it's the same on the other end down there. Here's the base of the thing, and it's a foot. You can't see that. Let me turn the camera around a little bit more so you get that in there. The base of it is a one foot, okay? It's one foot right there, right there. That's one foot right there. All right, now let me show you what I know about it. They talk about the length from the bottom. They, they just say the bottom in the instructions. They just talk about the bottom. It's easy to understand what the top is because it ain't nothing else after the top. There really ain't nothing else after the bottom either, but we don't know about the bottom of this antenna. Where is the bottom? He talks about the bottom of the radiator. This is a mount. The radiator is right here. It goes down inside this mount. According to his book, and I haven't taken it apart, but according to his instructions, this bolt right here is the resting bolt that the mount that the radiator sits on inside this mount. That's the bottom of the radiator, supposedly right close to the center of this bolt. Now, Max says it's this bottom here. I think I read it years ago when I got this antenna, that this was the bottom. 
And then others will say the, the feed point is the bottom. So I don't know. You tell me. I had never figured it out. I remember when I first got the antenna, I talked with uh, my friend Eddie. And uh, I remember the conversation, but I do not remember what he said about this. We talked about several things on that conversation. And he never did email me instructions like he talked about doing uh, at that time. He did never do that. He had my email address, my address, everything to get in touch with me, but they never did answer some of these questions that I had about this antenna. Uh, I'm going to show you some other parts of the antenna if I can get, get my camera off there and I can hold it steady enough that uh, I already maybe I showed you the gamma match. It's a very long gamma match. Uh, I don't know if you, I think it's on the video how long it is. I think I tape measured both the dog bone, the connector up there, and the tip of it. And then there's the first insulator right there around that coil. Around that coil. You can't see the little insulator, but it's in there, in between the where the two coils attach to the uh, radiator. One on the top, one on the bottom. That should be the phasing the phasing point in this antenna. Quarter wavelength phasing point. It's my uh, opinion. Eddie talked about it on the phone. He was supposed to discuss these issues with me by letter. Never did. Never did follow up. Okay? I don't have any more of the antenna in here right now, but there's another section to go on the top. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you specifically. That I'm for positive that I know where the bottom of the antenna is, and I think that is kind of important. Let's see if I can get it to refocus. I don't know. Hang on, with, bear with me here. Let's find something for it to focus on. I don't know why this camera does this, but maybe they all do it. I'm pretty far away, and I'm on tele, tele okay, there we go. I'm on telephoto, too, and that makes a difference. But at any rate, I don't want to waste my time fiddling with my darn camera here, so uh, let me see if I can't get it to go down some. It's going the wrong way. Well, now it went back out of focus. I mean, uh, this is aggravating. It's just taking up time on this video. But at any rate, I hope I made my point here that I can't tell you where the bottom of this thing is. I don't know whether it's here. The radiator in there, the radiator stops right there. Take that bolt out. Now that bolt might be in the, this radiator itself, but it goes down into this uh, mounting section here. This is where the this is where the uh, uh, radials go, right here and right here. They go on both sides of this bolt. That's also the center for the radials. So I don't know where the bottom is, unless it is like like I suggested. You could either use this as the bottom. This is the bottom. Or that is the bottom. I don't know. So that's why this little antenna didn't get done in the test. And when it was last up, there was something wrong with it. The SWR was funky on me. So I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, well, I took it down for the hurricane. And when I took it down for the hurricane, I was, desti I was destined to test it out to find out where the problem was, why it wasn't getting a good match. Uh, but the guy that was helping me take my stuff down took this thing apart before I took my measurements on it with my volt-ohm meter. Uh, I'm up to almost 10 minutes, and that's all we got allowed. So I'm going to have to let you go. I might do another video, but this one doesn't look too good, Moody. But you take care, old Grandpa.